Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Sher just holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. People chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off-duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? These men have been... These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes punishable by death. The sentence...
That should suffice. Follow me. These men have been found Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Move along, unless you want to Taste it of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. Locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always need to refer principles of profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down. Don't let them escape! Get it! The Indian too! Take him down! That one! And he's half beat! Where is Church? I'll tell you. Anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live! You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its holds with the supplies he stole from the Patriots 
That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. See if you can find something to pry it open. Connor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side! We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly if we're to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready.
Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. the welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. The church always was a slippery little bastard. Enemy ahead! They're making to flee! After them! Let fly full sail! Ease her off! Half sail! We need every notch! Full sail! She's 
Passing between the cliffs, boy, and the Aquila's too big to follow. We need to go around. God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. We need more speed. Loosen to full sail. Enemy ships approaching! Ready our weapons!
What has Church done with the cargo? Anyway, I'll give you credit for that, and for the quietude with which you pulled it off. We had a dream, Benjamin! A dream you sought to destroy! And for that, my fallen friend, you will be made to pay! I came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? <laughs> 